Blessed be the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ. According to his great mercy, he has caused us to be born again to a living hope through the resurrection of Jesus Christ from the dead to an inheritance that is imperishable, undefiled, and unfading, kept in heaven for you, who by God's power are being guarded through faith for a salvation ready to be revealed in the last time. Over the last couple of years, we've all experienced how volatile, unpredictable, and fragile life can be. We've had so many unmet expectations and disappointments, and while our circumstances may look different, the story of suffering dates back to the beginning. Peter knew that life was uncertain too when he wrote to the persecuted Gentile Christians, but he didn't focus on what was uncertain. Instead, he focused on the only thing that we know for sure, that because of God's great mercy, he has given us new birth into a living hope through the resurrection of Jesus. When I think about the word hope, I think about things that I wish will happen. My definition of hope is more about optimism and possibilities and waiting for those expectations that are often not met. But the good news is that that's not biblical hope, and that's not what Scripture tells us about hope. This kind of wishful thinking is not the type of hope that Peter had in mind. The hope that Peter describes is a confident expectation of future blessings, and it's based on facts and promises. And unlike the empty, dead hope of this world, ours is a guaranteed hope, a secure hope, a living hope that brings us life and that we can enjoy now. So even as we continue to face affliction and trials and disappointments, we can shift our focus, not on what's seen, but what's unseen, not on the temporary, but on the eternal. So it doesn't mean that we won't continue to be grieved by certain trials, but we can choose to rejoice even as we suffer. The two can coexist because of the hope, the living hope that's been given to us. So we can loosen our grip of control and surrender it to Jesus Christ, our Savior, our salvation, and our living hope. And we can stop and remember this today, that through Jesus Christ, and this very season, we're given a hope. And it's not one that's of optimism or wishful thinking, but it's one that's secure and guaranteed, and it's one that we can experience right now. Mm -hmm.